Hi, I'm Adam from Wide Open Throttle Films. Every year, hundreds of engineering students risk their social lives and become sleep deprived to get a thrill out of kicking up some mud. We're in Mechanicsville, Maryland at the Mini Baja International Student Competition. We're teaming up with UIC Motorsports to show you what it's all about. Check it out. Michelle Santowski, I'm the captain of the UIC Motorsports Baja team. Passing tech this year was much smoother than I've seen in the past, and I think that that's because we have experienced members who've gone through tech before, so knowing what to look for and the red flags that the judges are going to pick up on really helped speed us through that. We were able to get through. We had a little bit of a time conflict because the first time we were going through tech, uh, we ended up having to leave for design presentation, but when we got back, everything went smoothly. Um, we didn't have any other major violations. Uh, we're going to accelerate as fast as we can and then uh, slam the brake pedal. After tech, we did brake tests and everything went well with that. We lost all four and it was great to see all four judges raise their green flags. There wasn't a moment of hesitation on any of them, so that was great to see. Once we started with acceleration and, and uh, hill climb, we realized that we were having some, some drivetrain issues. Uh, does somebody want to go let them know that they head back to the trailer? We did our hill climb, which we failed at the first time, but really close to the top. Um, and that was a driveline issue when the chain slack got too much. It just started skipping teeth and we lost all our power. This is able to come off down here. You might have been skipping teeth. The main problem we have is that the CVT is touching uh, the frame right here. So we're going to try to use a washer on the keyway for the main shaft for the engine to see if we can move this out a little bit so we can get some more clearance. We came together as a team and we really did a great job diagnosing the issue and then getting the car back out there. Second run of acceleration went fine. Second run of the hill climb, we made it up the hill, which was great to see. And then we moved on to maneuverability and suspension events. Maneuverability, we did great. Unfortunately, on our second run, we hit two cones, but Chris Dwyer, who was the one in the car, is great at learning how to feel and move with the track. The car handles much better than last year's car. It's a little longer, but we can still whip around some turns pretty good. did suspension and unfortunately uh, although he was doing really well and he was clearing a lot of the obstacles probably due to the fact that our cars got a little more ground clearance than a lot of the cars here um, but he did go out of bounds on his first and his second but when we finished our second time there because we got so far through the event before going out of bounds we got a score of 32 so far uh, we have since fallen down to 35 but if we finish the day in lower than 40th place on that event, that, I think that'll be a really good thing.
right now we were just kind of doing a final check to make sure that all of the adjustments we had to make on our CBT and the chain slack and all of our bolts are tight and just kind of getting ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're just hoping to finish the race, get through all four hours without a breakdown. And if we do break down, fix it up and get back out there as soon as possible and go till the end, I guess. challenging day. We started out as well as uh, some of the other teams did um, and underestimated the course. So right away in the first lap you saw a lot of cars being taken out, being towed for repairs. We stayed in for a while. We got some solid laps in, some good lap times. We're passing a lot of cars. Unfortunately we had a failure and we had to come out and, and work on the car. Seeing the team come together and work on the car, we kind of feed off each other's energy and really get inspired to get the car back out on the course. And the way that everyone came and worked and lending hands and not a single person was sitting, you know, everyone was invested in the car. And I think that's the reason we were, we were able to get the car back out there for the last lap of the race. And uh, we're just thrilled about that. We do this because it's challenging. We do this because we love cars. We do this because we love the team. We came all the way out here. It took us 13 hours in a little truck together. Without the team, I don't think that I would be as invested to spend the hours, the late nights, the early mornings to, to get the car done.